Hey Cats fans, it's Cameron Guthrie here and today I'm sitting with my brother Zach um, in the play stand at GMHBA Stadium talking to him about his 50th game this week. Zach, um, can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about your last 49 games and how excited you are for this week? Yeah, um, yeah it's obviously an honour to finally get to the 50 games. Um, first started back in 2016, I was taken in the rookie draft. Um, I was taken with a couple of other guys who are still at the club so I've been fortunate to sort of um, enjoy the ride with them so far. Um, yeah, it's obviously also been great spending a bit of time with you at the club so far and all our other teammates have been awesome that have been here along the ride as well. So um, yeah, it's been really enjoyable up to this point. Uh, we obviously had a lot of backyard battles, a lot of kick to kicks um, on the road out the front. Uh, and we finally got to play our first AFL game together in 2017 against the uh, GWS Giants. Uh, do you have any memories of that day? I remember presenting you your jumper, um, making a little quip about, we had a big injury list, and I was like, yeah, you only got your opportunity because of um, so many injuries, which was probably a little bit harsh, but I thought it would be a good um, chance to hang it on you. Um, do you have any memories of that day? No, I think you're right. There was, um, the injury list was pretty long at that time, so that's probably why I first got the opportunity. Um, yeah, that was a really fun, I really look back really fondly on that. Um, it was obviously great to um, yeah, pull on the hoops in my first season and um, I had Sammy Simpson and Wally Buzzer both debuting in the same game. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that experience. Um, having you present my jumper was awesome as well. Um, and yeah, funnily enough, I actually ended up playing in a draw in my first game, which was also, uh, yeah, not many people could say that as well. Um, but yeah, all, the whole family was able to get up. It was over in Sydney, so that made it um, yeah, re really awesome for me as well, just having their support and um, yeah, something I'll remember for a long time. Definitely, and you've had a little bit to do with the Cats over the time. Obviously, I'm six years older than you, so um, when you were probably still in primary school, I was in the AFL and playing AFL footy. Um, how has that uh, developed you or um, made an impression on your take of AFL footy, um, both before you got drafted and now? Yeah, looking back now, it's probably a while ago. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that experience. It's obviously, obviously been great to um, follow your career closely. Um, I've really admired the way you've gone about things, so um, that's sort of been something I've tried to implement, just constantly looking to improve my game and um, yeah, try and yeah, impact for the team and play that sort of role where I can um, be, be aggressive where I can be, but also look to um, defend and do the right things for the team. Um, so yeah, that's, that's been a really enjoyable experience for me and um, yeah, I think it's helped really develop my knowledge of the game. Nice. And I think um, a little bit behind the scenes, I've been able to watch how hard you've worked um, to get to this point. Um, I won't say you've made it because I don't feel like I've made it and I'm sure Joel doesn't feel like he's made it yet. It's professional sport is a is a grind and you always feel like you have to prove yourself. Um, but some of the things I've seen you do um, to improve yourself as a footballer um, to get to this stage has been really impressive. Can you take us through any or some any or some of those things that you've might maybe gone the extra mile to do? Yeah I think um Throughout a couple of off-seasons, I've sort of really seen that as a chance to improve my game. Um, coming back in really good shape to not just sort of get rolling once we get back to training, but um, looking to really improve from um, once we get back into the structured drills. Um, so that's been an opportunity that I've seen and obviously, um, yeah, trying to work really hard during those pre-seasons to get my body um, up to scratch, I guess, and um, give, that, give myself the capacity to try and perform each week um, so that, that's been a big thing and then obviously throughout games just really trying to analyse um, what I have been doing well and what I've been trying to implement but also um, trying to take my game to the next level and see the areas that I can improve. Very good and 50, uh, 50 games is a, a great milestone, uh, one, one AFL game um, is a, a great achievement but in a team setting um, what are you kind of looking forward to for the rest of the year, um, the last two games and then finals? Yeah, it's a really fun place to be a part of. Um, where we've won a fair few games this season, which has been been awesome to be a part of. Um, 
we seem like we've got a really good mix of um, players all across the ground at the moment. We're gelling well together. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just look to build on that over the, the last couple of weeks of the season, first, first and foremost, but then going into the finals each week, just um, placing a real premium on, um, yeah, trying to attack the games the right way and um, put into practice what we have been doing well all year. And just finally, personally, I'd just like to say well done. I'm really proud of you. I know our family are really proud of uh, your efforts as well. Um, all the best for this weekend and looking forward to running out there with you like I, like I always am. Well done. No worries, Cam. Thanks.